6, emotions run high as a local family fights to keep their foster daughter after authorities say federal law is clear she must be removed from their home. Good evening. I'm Peter Downs. And I'm Andrea Fujii. Neighbors, friends, and family are camping out at a Santa Clarita home tonight, hoping they can help parents begging to keep their foster daughter. CBS 2's Jeff Nguyen is live now in Santa Clarita with what's at the heart of this controversy. Jeff? Well, Andrew and Peter, this neighborhood watch started forming at about 9 o'clock this morning with people showing up with signs like the ones you see these uh, young ladies have right here. The reason for that is because the parents in this case say that their social worker contacted them and told them that their foster daughter would be taken away today. Well, a lot of people started showing up. So did reporters. Next thing you know, they got a message that things would be put on hold. Well, if you look around, all these people are staying put. We implore the county not to prematurely take Lexi from her home. A neighborhood in Santa Clarita has formed a human shield for six-year-old Lexi, a foster child who's part Choctaw. We blurred out her face in these pictures with her foster family because her parents asked us to do so. A lot of time in the bathroom crying. Rusty Page is Lexi's foster dad. He and his wife have raised her for four years and tried to adopt her for three. The couple lost their fight against the Indian Welfare Act, which was created to keep Native American children with Native American families. They say the Department of Children and Family Services is expected to pick her up at some point soon to place her with her extended family in Utah. The California Children's Law Center, which has a court-appointed attorney assigned to Lexi's case, says she's not going to a family she doesn't know. In fact, she's had monthly visits with her biological family, including siblings, and experts have determined they have a loving relationship. The director says the pages have made the problem worse by getting into a legal battle when it could have been resolved more than three years ago. And I truly hope that somebody who represents children in L.A. County would not take a viewpoint of it's our fault for fighting for our child. Rob Bethke stands with the pages because he and his wife lost the Native American twin toddlers they fostered for two years. It was the, the darkest period of our lives, our family. We were in therapy afterwards. Rusty Page says the family Lexi is going to is related by marriage, but not even Native American. We have high doubts as to whether or not they'll continue to maintain contact with us because they've shown that from, from the beginning. So here's what's going on right now. There's a social media campaign to get more volunteers to come out and keep watch of the streets for this family throughout the night. We reached out to DCFS and they tell us that by law they cannot comment on any of their cases. Andrew and Peter, let's send it back to you. All right.